for our first topic today, um, I, I, I did a, I did a short on this. I did a short on this yesterday when it happened. Uh, yesterday was a bit of my, you know, comeback. I typically go on a little bit of a hiatus sometimes when I'm not, when I'm having rainy days, if you will. So sometimes I have to, I have to take off from this show so I can be the best me I can be for you. But you know, we did, our, we, we did prayers and we reported on it. But now let's let's get into what we know about what happened in Nashville yesterday in regards to a shooting at a very, very, very small school, as I had alluded to yesterday. So so we, we have a name, 28-year-old um, Audrey Hale killed three children and three adults at a private Christian school in Nashville. And apparently the, 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 the word today, the T today, is that this person was under care for emotional disorder, but somehow legally bought guns. Bought seven firearms, actually. Okay. And the parents said that uh, th they knew that the shooter had bought one weapon, but they sold it because they didn't feel like she should own uh, um, weapons and what have you. So, But they didn't know. But they said on Monday morning, the person left home with the red bag and the parents asked what was inside of it. But they were just dismissed, but they were like, you couldn't be a red bag full of uh, assault rifle and, and handguns. It couldn't be that because the one weapon that we did know that you bought, you sold that. So it couldn't be that. Just, just walk out with your red bag and have a great day. So, yeah. This person had actually purchased seven weapons in the last, like, two years in between 2020 and 2022 they said it wasn't a motive but they said that this person did have let me see here looks like they did have connections to the school in regards to they used to go to it this person is 28 how bad do you have to be beefing with something that you come back to uh, this school is kindergarten through sixth grade and you are 28 now how much beef do you really got with this now they're saying that this person identifies as trans, I guess, and this is a Catholic school and it's in Tennessee. So that could potentially be motive. Maybe like came back for all the times that they said this person was different or something. That might be I, may, I'm not making excuses for it. It's it's bad all the way around. I'm not making excuses for it. Oh, my goodness. I forgot I didn't change the label on these. Oh, my bad. Whatever. Um, on the actual show that I post on YouTube, over on 99 Media and on Unico Williams, uh, definitely make sure that the that the description is correct. But anyway, did leave behind a manifesto, a uh, map of the school. It looks like because they actually did end up releasing the body cam footage today, and I watched a couple of the a couple of the what do you call them? The police come up there and talk. I watched a couple of conferences and we got some body cam footage and they also released footage of the person walking through the school doing this. So apparently they like shot the, the, the glass out of the door. So, and the initial report said that they came in through a side door, like as if they had like access to it. And, and that was the whole thing. But again, they left a manifesto and it had a map of the school and it mentioned maybe sh sh doing a, this, uh, a mall that's close to the school. And yeah, that's about all we have. We do have a picture of the, I don't know. I don't know. This, I don't know. I don't know how none of this stuff works. But um, they found a lot of documents and it was clearly planned. Uh, per Mayor Cooper, and there was a lot of ammunition and there were guns. And police have referred to Hale as a female shooter at the news conference, but adding that Hale was transgender. So I don't know. It, that boy, the girl, then, if they're identifying as female shooter, I guess. I I don't know. Uh, this person actually graduated from Nazi College of Art and Design in Nashville last, last year. So Interesting. He's been working as a freelance graphic designer and part-time grocery shopper, a.k.a. Um, I don't know. What do you call that? I don't know what that's called. When 
them people that be in my doggone way at Walmart, I know that much. Um, uh, just before 10 o'clock on Monday, the shooter sent an ominous message to a childhood friend. A friend told CNN in an Instagram message to a, a Nashville radio host that I'm planning to die today and that it would be on the news. One day this will make more sense. I've left more than enough evidence behind, but something bad is about to happen. Okay. Childhood basketball team knew her well when we were kids, but hadn't spoken in years. I'm sure why she received the message. So, oh, maybe it's identifies as trans, but is a is a is a man, or is a female, but is identifying as a man. I think. Um. At any rate, yeah. So I mean, that's that's what we know now, man. Prayers for that whole situation i i i I hate it for uh families to go through that type of stuff i mean i just don't know when it's going to end i don't know when people when are people going to stop when are people going to stop bringing people into their bullshit when are you going to stop a nine-year-old was born nine years ago and has nine years worth of memories birthday cakes, fun times, bad times, all those things. And just for some random person they don't even know, shoots them, kills them. Life is over with. You know, I often think about war. And I was like, that's why I don't really like, I'm I'm not really into that military stuff and all that stuff and war and stuff like that because we don't even know the people that we're going against. You know, I, I think about and that's, that's why I could never kill anyone. Because I think about their life leading up to that specific point where they die. Family trips, maybe that one time him and the homies had a great time out. You know, they, maybe they had a wedding day. You know, maybe there's that one time that they helped that old blind man across the street. All these things. You just then their just life inexplicably just ends in that one point. Everything they've ever done in their life has led up to that point. And that's what makes me sad for children that get caught up in these, in these school shootings it is, is because all they know in a sense is not, they haven't even seen the, in a sense, the, the major terrors in the world. You know what I mean? The major bad things in the world. All they know is, you know, kid stuff. Could have possibly been thinking about, I can't wait to go play with my Bratz dolls when, you know, after school. I can't wait to go play tag when I, I can't wait to go play Fortnite when I get out of school. But instead, somebody randomly just comes, comes in and, and, and takes their life. People aren't born to just be inexplicably just killed like that. You know what I mean? And that's what makes me so sad about this situation. I'm not numb to it. I'm just sick and tired of talking about the shit. And I'm really, I'm really sick and tired of people, like I said, bringing, bringing other people into their shit. Man, whatever the fuck you got going on, you need to handle that. If you know that you about to die, um, you know, by a cop or whatever, why you got to bring them little kids into it? Why, why do you have to bring somebody else that don't even know you into it? You know what I'm saying? That's what I don't like about school shooters, man, because I always say that they're the biggest pussies in the world, period. A. You a pussy for picking on people that can't defend themselves. You a pussy for not being able to stand up to the world. And most importantly, you just pussy, man. Like, do you not understand? People, all these, all these, and a lot of times it'd be like, quote unquote, quote unquote, nerds or people that are outliers. You know, I study a lot of this stuff. And people that are like outliers, they feel like, oh, the world doesn't like me. Just keep on going to school. Oh, they, they pick on me at school. The girl that I like, she doesn't like me back. Keep going to school. And what you do is you get a good job. You get a good, you go to school, you go to college, you get a good job. And then you make money. And then if you're worried about females and stuff like that, you're worried about the opposite sex, you're worried about finding love. Hey, there's some things, there's, there's other things that can attract a woman to you besides besides just the way you look or 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 how you because hell man I, i'm just saying stay the course because at the end of the day all these school shooters and all that stuff like that listen 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 
After you graduate from high school, nobody gives a fuck, okay? I know they're like, man, oh, they'll rule the day that they pushed me in my locker. They'll rule the day that I was, listen, I got picked on when I was a kid. And I got lucky. I happened to be handsome, but I got picked on because I was different. But look at me now. You just stay the course because like I say, after high school, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody's like, no, nobody's going to be 25 years old and comes like, look, 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 there, there's a, such and such. That, that we used to put in the locker. Nobody's going to do that. Niggas got. And a lot of times people that are picking on you, they end up with way worse lives than you do. So just stay the fucking course. And who gives a fuck what people say, man? And stop being a pussy and thinking about bringing people into your shit. You deal with that shit yourself. All right? Come on, man. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. Don't forget, every Thursday, the full podcast is on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Mama, I'm on Spotify. Over on 99 ENT, bring you videos from Friday all the way to Friday. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. Again, thank you so much. I holla.